In this tutorial, we will be creating an SQLite database for use with our address book app. An SQLite database is a relational database management system. It is usually made up of multiple tables and each row in that table represents an object. The database is usually stored on your device and is not accessible by other programs. In Android, we usually store data in variables such as strings, ints, booleans. These are called data types. In SQL, we also use data types. We have integer, null, real, text, and blob. Now that I've given you a background on SQL, let's look at the Android contract class. It is not necessary, but it is an Android best practice. According to the developer website, it contains the constants that help the applications work with the content URIs, column names, intent actions, and other features of a content provider. In Android, it is a good practice to organize data in packages. Having said that, right click on our package and let's create a sub package. We can call it data. We will place our contract class in this sub package. Let's call our class contact contract. Let's also make it public and final. This class will contain the names of the columns in our table. This class will also contain the name of our table. We will need an inner class to hold the constants that we plan to use. Let's call this class contacts entry and let it implement base columns. Using base columns is not necessary, but since each object in our table is going to have an ID, this is a best practice. The name of the table as well as the name of the table columns will go in this inner class. We will need an inner class for each of the tables in our database. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to follow this database creation series, please hit subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.